YouTube, what's good, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? My smell good family. What is going on? All right, it's your boy one more time, Dedrick L. Hicks Jr. And uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. So uh, hopefully everyone's doing well, doing great, positive energy, positive vibes. You know how we do, how we give it up here uh, on this channel. All right, so we are back with another weekly wears video. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about every fragrance that I wore uh, this past week. Um, this is one of my favorite formats. Um, this, what's in the bag, I really look forward to doing these each and every week, all right? So before we get started, this is kind of like a real-time thing. Um, well, first off, go nose, all right? I got on my Florida State gear. We get ready to take on LSU. Um, so I got on all my gear like I'm a soccer dad, all right? Got my Florida State hat <laughs> ready to go. And, um, you know, we get ready to take on LSU and we'll see what it's about, all right? So, um... That's why I got on the Florida State gear, all right, for anybody out there, all right. Um, back to business. Um, giveaway video will be dropping tomorrow. So in real time, like in the future, if you're watching this, obviously the giveaway is over. But the video for the giveaway winner will be tomorrow. So y'all look out for that overwhelming response. You'll see on the video my thoughts and my reactions to everything. I just wanted to put that out there, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this week's weekly wears. Let's start off with Sunday, all right? Sunday, on the way home from Savannah, Georgia, me and my wife celebrated our anniversary. And um, I said I was going to put a dent in this thing and try to get rid of it uh, before the end of the year is over, and we're working towards that. From the house of Chanel, all right? We have Blue to Chanel, the EDP. The EDP, all right? So wore this on the way home. Um... Sunday morning, uh, you know, we got up and, you know, checked out the hotel and went and grabbed some breakfast and, um, you know, just kind of, you know, moseyed around a little bit before we hit the road uh, to come at home. So this is probably my favorite. I've said it before. This line is probably my favorite uh, scent. Um, I, you know, I love the events. It's an intense man, but this is just the one that captivated me um, in the fragrance game. And I always have every one of them. The EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum, I always have them. It just smells so good, man. You get that incense, that mango, that mint, that grapefruit, that pink pepper. Just a lot going on. This is a masterpiece, a classic. And I feel like every man should have a bottle or a version uh, of this in their collection, man. Every man should have at least one Blue Day Chanel. And um, I love it so much, I have them all, man. So on Sunday, back to the crib from Savannah, Georgia, we went with, from the house of Chanel, we went with Blue to Chanel, EDP, EDP. I'm gonna try to crush this bottle. This bottle specifically before the end of the year. All right, on Monday, on Monday, uh, let's see. Yeah, I was off from Monday. I had one last day of vacation. And um, I had a lot of running around to do, and it's hot here in Florida, so I threw on something that smells great, but that would, you know, and also that would do the job, all right? So from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, yeah, Yves Saint Laurent, we have uh, YSL, y, YSL AO Fresh, YAO Fresh, all right? So I love this version. I believe it is discontinued, and if I see another bottle like I found mine at my local local Nordstrom rack, then I would get another bottle. I paid around $40, $45 for this, but they replaced that green apple with a lemon note, and I really enjoy it. Very refreshing. Um, just uh, just get it, a get it done summertime scent. Um, this is definitely in my top 10 for summer. And um, I put a nice little dent in this thing, and I'm really glad that I have this one. Love the presentation of it, but it just did its job on Monday while I was out and about running errands. Decent longevity. When the heat gets a hold of this thing, you kind of really see what it can do, all right? So, of course, you know, a lot of people, including myself, are a fan of the YSL Y line. Um, but I don't know, man. The late Parfum and this one might be my favorite from the whole line. I haven't got my nose on YSL uh, Y Live yet. I do really like the EDP, don't get me wrong, I really, really do. But as far as my favorites, I think the Le Parfum in this one is uh, really at the top for me. So on Monday, running errands in the heat, we went with, from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, we went with YSL's Y, A.O. Fresh. A.O. Fresh, I wonder if it's, there we go. 
the camera like you don't want to focus today all right moving along to tuesday we uh went back to the office back at it back on the grind i had a glorious vacation but we were back at it man and this has just become an office favorite right out the rip from the house of polo yeah we got polo gold blend polo blue gold blend i really love this stuff for the office why because it meets and checks all the boxes for the office this and tear their mez um uh aqua di show uh profumo scents like that really grabbed me and this one has uh uh it's an over it's an own above average performer but it has that mango in it you know you got that fresh spicy accord you got some greens in here as well a meringue like thing going on um that you get with this fragrance but the thing is it surprisingly performs um on my skin i mean the original polo blue and ultra blue and all those blues they don't perform that well. Might get about five hours, but honestly, on my skin, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's this, if it's this bottle or what, but I get about eight hours of performance on this thing, and I was really surprised towards the end of my day. Yeah, like really the end of the day, I was still, uh, you know, I still got a compliment so late in the day, and I kind of smelled down on my clothes and on my skin. It was still hanging around, man. So this has quickly become a favorite. Uh, for me to the office. So um, on Tuesday, man, really like this stuff uh, from the house of Polo. Uh, we have Polo Blue Gold Blend. Gold Blend. Gold Blend. Really like this stuff for sure. All right, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I want to kind of switch it up. I want to kind of switch up the pace. I didn't want to go fresh, summery, aquatic. You know, I didn't want to do that, man. I wanted to do a little uh, something a little bit sweeter. Something a little denser, not really sweeter, but a little denser. And uh, we went with from the house of Alexandria, all right? We went with Plum Lucky. Plum Lucky, okay? Now, this is a 1A, 1B, inspired by fragrance from uh, Paco Rabanne's 1 Million Lucky, okay? Now, I have 1 Million Lucky. I have a 200 ml and I have a 100 ml bottle. So, why do I have this? Well, during my Alexandria run, which I'm still on, but not as heavy, but when I was on my run, I was really interested to see how good are they with various different scents. So I knew One Million Lucky was one of mine. I heard the discontinu discontinuing rumors and facts going on about it. So I went ahead and purchased this in a 60 ml bottle and they really came close to it really came close you get more plum in this one it's more plum more resonant in this you still get the honey you get a slight nutty vibe in this one uh you but it still comes off fresh aldehydic and um it really did the job for me on wednesday i got a few compliments wearing this one as well and i really like it and i don't think how i don't know if i'll run through 300 mls of 1 million lucky uh, but if I do, I have something with this that can stall it out. All right, so on Wednesday, we're just in the mood for something like this. From the house of Alexandria, we have Plum Lucky. Plum Lucky. I really enjoy this stuff. Y'all go get it, man. It doesn't cost that much. Um, if you're having a hard time finding, finding one million lucky. If you're not having a hard time now, you will. All right. So moving along till Thursday. Of course, I got to do it, man. I got to do it. You know me. All right. Um, this is my take, my turn at the Creed Aventus DNA from the house of our moth. We went with uh, Club Day Nuit, Intense Man, Limited Edition Parfum. We went with the Limited Edition Parfum this week. Now, lately, I've been going with the Intense Pure Parfum, but I was just in the mood for this one. And I tell you what, man, even though this one, the EDT, the EDP, and the Pure Parfum have major similarities, you still get small differences in all of them. Um, you really, really do. This is a very good one. And even though in the opening, you don't get that pineapple-y uh, scent, but you do get that lemon, bergamot, you get that birch, you do get that Aventus thing right away. And this thing is really good quality. Now, is it a, you know, I talk about Creed Aventus all the time. And if you're gonna, if you wanna experience the real deal and the quality, then get Creed Aventus. But if you want something that's extremely close, that's going to get the job done times 10. This would be a great one. Great one to look into. Um, good performer on my skin. Every time I wear this scent, every time I at least get one compliment throughout my day. And I indeed got that with this one, man. This is just some good stuff. And um, I'm just glad to have all of them <laughs> in my collection. So uh, once again, man, you know how I do it every week. From the House of Armoff, we have uh, Club Dina Wee, Intense Man, 
limited edition parfum limited edition parfum really really love this stuff y'all know that all right on let's see on friday on yeah on friday we debuted a new fragrance a middle eastern mystery i'm always blown away at what these middle easterns do man and they did it to me again and again it is from the house of latafa and uh man this one really surprised me from the house of latafa we have najdia najdia now i probably butchered this name but N-A-J-D-I-A -A, Najdia, all right? Now this one, I saw a video for it and I was kind of surprised at the take that the reviewer had and I forgot who it was. And I said, you know what? I'm interested to see what he's saying. So he mentioned this in the same breath as Hawass and Invictus. That's what he mentioned it in. So Hawass is very, very, very popular. The price is high. It's kind of hard to get a bottle for it for a decent price right now, especially when you're in summer. But this one right here was $25.99. I got this one um, off of Amazon, I believe it was, from the Intense Oud store. And I got it in and I smelled it. And matter of fact, this stuff is fantastic. It is giving Hawass a run for its money. Now, I love Hawass. Y'all see my bottle. I love Hawass. This rivals the scent. Yes. Is this among the Invictus style DNA? Yes, it is. But with this one, you get a note of lemongrass in here. You get some cinnamon, some lemon. Um, It's a marine-like. It's aquatic. It has a fruitiness to it. Man, I really, really like this stuff. It performs really, really well. I got about nine hours out of this similar to what I get out of Hawaii. So basically I'm saying all this to say, and I'm gonna do a review on this one as well before the summer concludes. Um, but if you are in really wanting to get a bottle of Hawass and you're just saying to yourself, man, I just don't wanna pay the 60 to $70 that they're asking for. Okay, cool. If you wanna get it one day, just wait till the price goes down. But Latafa's Notch Deal is one that you can get right now below $30 and it smells great. It is good quality, it performs. Like I said, I got about nine hours out of this thing. It is fruity, it is aquatic. That cinnamon and that 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 uh the fruits kind of coincide and give off a sweetness. The dry down, this thing is real. The amber in this thing comes alive in the dry down. And that's where the difference is separate between this and Hawass. Um, it is that bubble gummy, uh, summertime, fresh aquatic uh, scent that's really good. So look out for the review on this one. I have a lot more to say about it, but I was really surprised at what this smelled like, how it performed. And the thing that I'm confused about is that no one's talking about it. Nobody, but I'm gonna talk about it. So if you want Hawass and you don't want to pay the high price right now that it's going around, which in my opinion, I'd pay it, but get this, get this, and you'll have a great experience. Trust me. So on Friday from the house of Latafa, all right, we went with Naj Dia. Naj Dia. EDP concentration. Uh, This is a 3.4 ounce bottle, 100 ml. Great stuff, man. All right, and last but not least, on Saturday, once again, it was... Real humid down here. The rain was going back and forth. I had to go to the office um, to close out the week. Just a bunch of rain. Um, but it was really humid, really hot later on once the rain cleared. And this one just held it down. I haven't worn it in a while and I was reminded just how good it is. From the house of Azaro, we went with Chrome Extreme. Chrome Extreme. Of course, with this one, this is a inspired by similar scent to Giorgio Armani's Aqua Dijo. Profondo, all right, and I love Profondo, but this one adds a little bit more than what Profondo gives. Quality, if you want to go quality, check box. Go with Aqua Dijo if that's what you're looking for. But I could get more orange and amber in this one, accompanied by that aquatic setup. 
Um, they smell very, very similar. The openings are very, very close, but this one's a little bit more sweeter and a little bit more richer. When I say sweet, I don't, I don't mean candy sweetness or anything like that. The amber in here just kind of sweetens up the DNA. It's still aquatic. It still has a freshness to it. That orange note in here really comes out, and I'm a huge fan, and I can't believe that I didn't put in work with this one this summer a lot more than I did. I mean, I still have time. So I will be wearing this until you know we officially uh, get into the fall months and the fall weather gets to where I am. But um, I was reminded just how good this is. I picked this as a winner uh, in the versus battle over Giorgio Armani's uh, Prof Aqua di Gio Profondo. So you can get this one for much cheaper for a good price. It is an EDP concentration, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml. Very good performer and I really like it and I was glad it um how much i liked it on this past saturday so on saturday to close out the week from the house of azaro we went with chrome extreme chrome extreme if y'all catch this one man go ahead and grab it it's really really good if i catch one laying around in north Chirac, i'm gonna grab me a backup bottle because i love it i really really do i really do all right all right guys so that's it that's it for uh the weekly wears video i think this was covering the week of I don't know. I don't be knowing what day it is. Uh, so, shoot, the 28th, I think it was. <laughs> the week of August the 28th. All right, that's what I think it is. Uh, this week is covering. But y'all know what day, I'm, what week I'm talking about. All right, so um, hopefully you guys got something from the video. What did you guys wear last, la wear last week? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, you know, I love to chop it up with y'all and talk that fragrance talk with y'all for sure, man. So I definitely love to hear what you guys wore uh, last week. Um, and what are your thoughts about these fragrances? Do you like them? Do you love them? Am I hyping it up? Am I not hyping it enough? You guys let me know down below in the comments for real. So if you'd like to be the next member of the Smell Good family, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and meet me down in the comments so we can talk about what you love and what I love. And that is the art of fragrance, okay? All right, man. Thank y'all for all y'all support. As always, thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next fragrance video. All right? Oh. So I got on my Florida State gear, and it's definitely... Oh, oh. It's definitely that. But I got on that juice. I got on that splat. You should too. Go nose.